You can use your 7100 to transmit your location details if you wish. It's something you don't have to do. A lot of people don't want to be seen on um, GPS um, plotting websites and all that sort of thing. The, um, the version that uh, D-Star uses is called DPRS, Digital Version of APRS. I'm not going to go into the details about that, but there's plenty of information on uh, the internet. Um, you can set up the 7100 to transmit your details without having the GPS connected to it. What you'll need is you'll need your latitude and longitude and your altitude. And uh, you can enter those coordinates into the 7100. Select GPS manual position. And every time you key up on a local um, uh, repeater gateway that's uh, DPRS enabled, your um, location will be passed to the APRS servers uh, to websites similar to APRS.fi. So uh, let's go through it then and see how um, uh, how it looks uh, or how to set it up. I'll just get this back in focus, I think, by the looks of it. Yeah, okay, right. So going to the set menu, uh, GPS, which is on page 2 of 4, and you want GPS set. First one you want is GPS select. If you've got an external GPS, you would select that one. We haven't at the moment, not in the shack anyway, I have in the car. Uh, press manual, and then manual position, Lati uh, sorry, latitude, longitude, altitude. You press the quick button to edit. If you have got GPS um, connected, uh, you can capture the position from there. So when you're in a one particular location for uh, a long period, uh, you, you can switch a GPS off to save batteries or, or whatever. Um, press edit and latitude to start with uh, find your local latitude uh, Google Earth or any other mapping uh, websites software that you may have find out your coordinates uh, it'll be hit and miss to get your exact location at the moment I think I've got mine in degrees uh, minutes uh, sorry degrees decimal minutes um, once you've entered your coordinates, uh, north or south can be accessed by pressing that button there. So it's currently south at the moment. Press N for north. Press enter. Your longitude. Same again. Press that. Enter your long longitude. Uh, east or west. So no minus is here. Just select east or west. Press enter. Altitude. Find your altitude, depending on how you've got your radio set up, you might be in metres. Um, at the moment I've got miles um, and feet as my unit measurement. So press enter, and then press right. And yes, and there we go. So that's the manual position. It can be anywhere really. If you want to, uh, if you go away on holiday or something, and again you don't want to have the GPS on all the time, you could transmit that um, location by entering the... Uh, coordinates in the manual position. Right, so come out of there um, and um, there's the other options, speed units, altitude, distant, position format so you can select all the different types that you want and come back to GPS sorry, too far, GPS scroll down and you want GPS TX mode press that one now, early in the early days of um, DPRS, we used to use DV-A. A little bit complicated to set up, but the later versions of DV-A, a bit easier to set up now, and they follow more the guidelines of APRS. Um, so we'll use that one. Press that. Select your symbol. Um, I've got the car, because I mostly use this when I'm mobile. Um, but if you press that, you've got four defaults. You can have uh, set it as the house, the car, or a van, or <laughs> a PC user. Um, if you don't like any of those, for instance, let's change this one. What you do is you press and hold until edit symbol comes up. Press edit symbol. And then you've got 17 pages uh, of all different symbols. So you can scroll down those and select one to suit your particular uh, requirements. Uh, leave PC symbol in there. The one I'm going to use at the moment because I'm in the shack now is if I press that one 
So when I transmit, I'll appear on the maps uh, as the VHF APRS house symbol. SSID, normally for a house you probably wouldn't bother with an SSID number. Um, so you could select that. If you're using the car, the APRS standard is dash 9. So you can select that if you wish, entirely up to you. Uh, the comment, um, that doesn't appear on other people's radios as such, but it will appear if you look on the website um, APRS.fi. And if you looked at my call sign, you'd see small messages. And you should see that if you click on my G1ZRN-9. Um, uh, so you can uh, put what you like in there. If you want to edit it or enter something, press quick, press edit, and um, just type in your, your brief message in there. If I just scroll along, I think it's about 27 characters. You'll see a little, um, uh, that's it, return carriage return symbol so anything preceding that will appear anything after that I'm fairly sure will be cut off but um, uh, you know don't um, hold me to that right so uh, press enter uh, actually I'll just clear that back right press enter so that's now saved come out of there and um, as far as I know I think that's about it so if we come out of all those and you get back to your main operating screen in DR mode you'll see DV A top of the screen so when I transmit now to my local repeater GB7WF uh, that's DPRS enabled it will send my GPS information my location information to the APRS servers and I can be tracked on that website when I uh, go mobile with this radio go back into GPS and um, scroll up go to GPS set and again GPS select and I select external GPS and I go uh, uh, because that's external GPS it'll ignore the manual position it'll take the data from my external GPS and um, because I've just changed it I'll change it back GPS TX mode I'll select the car symbol again and I'll use the SSID of dash 9 which is an APRS standard for mobiles and uh, come out of that, out of that, out of that and back to the main operating screen when my GPS is plugged in small little GPS satellite symbol appears between the filter and the SD card symbols uh, when it's flashing that means there's um, no um, valid information and when it's a steady symbol that means it's uh, got valid signal and the location uh, details will be um, recorded and when you transmit to your local gateway um, if uh, if they've got the software enabled to pass APRS um, DPRS information you'll appear on APRS.fi websites and similar uh, there are a few um, different um, types of software and um, other uh, controlling features on some gateways and some repeaters where it won't pass the information so uh, if you don't succeed at first after following that try another repeater that's using a different operating system and uh, and then check again anyway 73's Mike G1ZRN